Okay, hello everybody. This is Pastor Gloria. I'm live at, at the Cross County Mall doing my scope. And I love you all. God bless you. So I'm going to do my devotionals, but I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer first. So let's bow your heads. To all my replay viewers, I love you all, one and all. May God richly bless you today and throughout the weekend. Tomorrow starts the weekend. This is uh, March the 9th of 2017. So I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer first. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Amen. So, anyway, again, I love you all. And um, there's so much evil going on now. There's so much evil. So many sp dem demonic spirits. Lots of dem de de demonic spirits. And we have to be beware and be aware at all times. Keep our spiritual eyes on. Stay in God's Word. Stay in God's Word. Because we are in the end times, people. We are in the end times. And some people don't want to believe it, but all you have to do is look around. Look around and see what's going on all around the world. All around the world. It's not normal. It, it just isn't normal. And the Bible is playing out from... Genesis to Revelation. And like I said before, it's like reading the daily newspaper. You know, Bible prophecies are being fulfilled every day. And for some people, it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to read my devotional. My first one is my Jesus Always. That's my first one. Today is March the 9th. March the 9th. It's very, it's very, very hard nowadays. It's very hard for us believers. It's very hard. Welcome, Sefa Bonska. It's their first day on scope. Well, welcome to my scope. God bless you. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. I'm just getting ready to read my devotional. One of my devotionals. Alrighty. This is March the 9th. Feel free. Any hearts that you give me is for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. Always hearts for Jesus. I'm not on here or my YouTube channel to glorify me or edify me. It's all about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave his life on that cross for me and for you, for the, ato the atonement of our sins. So, and anyway, I want to say something else, too. My YouTube channel is Gloria Drummond. Jesus is the answer. That's my YouTube channel. So, in these last days, we have to try to win as many people to the Lord as we can. Because Satan seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. To seek, he seeks to kill, steal, and destroy because he knows he has but a short time on this earth. People may say, well, yeah, you, they've been saying that for years. Well, there's evidence now. There's evidence now. All we have to do is look all, look all around at all the chaos, all the chaos and everything that's going on. And the floods, the floods, the volcanoes. It's like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot, the days of Noah. When Noah tried to warn the people of the flood and it, they, they didn't listen and they all perished. They all perished. And God wilt that no man perish. He will let no man perish. So, all right, here's my devotional for today. My ways are mysterious and unpredictable, but they are good. When you look at world events with so much rampant evil, now what did I just talk about and I hadn't even looked at this? It's easy to feel fearful and discouraged. Isn't that something? I hadn't even looked at this. That's how the Lord deals with it. That's how the Lord does. He, he makes intercession. He makes intercession. Okay. 
It's easy to feel fearful and discouraged. You cannot comprehend why I allow such cruelty and suffering. The difficulty lies in the fact that I am infinite and you are not. Many things are simply beyond your comprehension, but do not despair. When you reach the limits of your understanding, trusting me will carry you onward. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Affirm your trust in me through silent and spoken prayers. Stay in communication with me. Yes. That's essential. We must stay in, in, in communication with our Heavenly Father. Don't get trapped in a posture of demanding to know why. Demanding to know why. There's many mysteries we don't understand, and we won't. There's mysteries we God doesn't want us to know. There's mysteries He doesn't want us to know. And everything wasn't put in the Bible. Everything wasn't put in the Bible. Yes. Okay, how do you want me how do you want me to view this situation? And what do you want me to do right now? You cannot change the past. So start with the present moment and seek to find my way forward. My way forward. Trust me one day, one moment at a time. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will strengthen you and help you. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the, the verses for this one is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Ecclesiastes eight seventeen, Psalm 37, verses 12 through 13. And Isaiah 41, 10. I'm going to read them again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 17. Psalm 37, verses 12 and 13. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. And Yvette joined. Well, bless your heart. I'm glad you joined, sweetie. You're the only one. You're the only one that's joined. I just read my devotional for today. I just just popped on a few minutes ago. So, um, all right. This is... I'm going to read this again since you're on here, Yvette. I'm going to read this one again. Hi, sweetie. God bless you, sweetie. Okay. He says, my ways, and I, and I haven't even, I haven't read this at all. I haven't read this at all. And I was just talking, well, you can watch the replay, but I was talking about, about the evil. Did you get, did you get my message on Twitter? I haven't, I haven't been on there. I haven't been on there yet, honey. I will, I will though. I will. Okay, um, I was talking about all the evil going on in the world and everything, and this, just wait, wait till I read this, wait till I read it, sis. My ways are mysterious and unpredictable, but they are good when you look at the world events with so much rampant evil, and I was talking about all that, talking about all that. It's easy to feel fearful and discouraged. You cannot comprehend why I allow such cruelty and suffering. Loved your scope last night. Oh, you saw it last night. Well, hello. Hi, you guys. How are you? Pretty good. Okay. Let's see. You cannot comprehend why I allow such cruelty and suffering. Uh, hang on just a minute here. No, to, no today. Um, you, you lost me, honey. You watched my scope from last night, right? And you messaged me. I haven't got it yet. I haven't checked the Twitter. I'm glad Yvette's on here. Bless her heart. I dearly love her. I watched it today. Oh, okay. Okay. From last night. Okay. I missed you on there, honey. I missed you. I probably would have stayed on a little longer, but, but yes. Okay, okay. I love you, sister. All right, I'm going to... Men, many things are simply beyond our comprehension. But do not despair. When you reach the limits of your understanding, trusting me will carry you on. I went to bed, was tired. Yeah, I was too. I wasn't up real late. I wasn't up real late. When you reach your limits of your understanding, trusting me will carry you onward. Affirm your trust in me through silent and spoken prayers. Stay in communication with me. Oh, yeah, the scope you did yesterday yesterday about just show up. My, my, my. And you said you felt like the Lord had been tugging at you to, to, to get on there and do that. 
And I feel like that that, that was meant for me. Because I asked the Lord. I asked the Lord. I said, what should I do, Lord? Should I just show up? Just show up. And what did you do yesterday? Yeah, yeah. So, see, that was a word for me. It was a word for me, and Joyce feels it was a word for her too in, in, in a different, different ways. But I feel that was like a confirmation for me. Just show up, and God would be with me and protect me, and he wouldn't let any harm come to me. Amen, praise the Lord. That's how he does. That's how he does. He gives other people... He makes intercession with other people for it's something. He gave you confirmation. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Were you thinking about me when at all when you when you when that came to you, sweetie? Were you thinking about me? Because you knew you knew what I've been, you know, talking about and praying about. And I'm glad she's on here. She, I always feel I always feel good when Yvette's on here. Bless her heart. She's usually, she's my right-hand woman. Maybe once. Okay. I just wondered because that's what exactly what I said to the Lord. I said, what am I supposed to do, Lord? Just, just show up. Just show up. And then you come on there yesterday. And the, I was about floored. I was about floored. My, my, my. Jesus is some, Yes. He's amazing, isn't he? He's, he's, he's amazing. All right, let's see. All right, now, where was I? Stay in communication with me. Don't get trapped in a posture of demanding to know why. This is the wrong question to ask me. The right questions are, how do you want me to view this situation? And what do you want me to do right now? It says, you cannot change the past. So start with the present moment and ask and seek to find my way forward. All day the Lord said that to me. Wow. And I just asked the Lord, I think two or three days ago, two or three days ago, I asked him that. What should I do, Lord? Just show up. Just show up. My way forward. Trust me one day, one moment at a time. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will strengthen you and help you. And everything you said yet, you said yesterday, too. You just hit it, hit it to a T. It hit it to a T. Okay, here, here is the... The, the Bible verses for this, sweetie. Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. I didn't bring my Bible with me. I should have. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 17. Psalm 37, verse 12 and 13. Isaiah 41, 10. That was the, the scriptures for this one for today. All right. Now I'm going to read my other one. This is Experiencing God Day by Day. I'm going to read that one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, we are in March the 9th. March the 9th. These devotionals are, are something else. They really are. They're something else. Okay. This one's called Reverence. Reverence. Therefore, brothers, since we have boldness to enter the sanctuary through the blood of Jesus by a new and and living way he has opened for us through the the curtain that is his flesh some of these are written in real small letters thank you for sharing on Twitter honey thank you all right and that's in reference to Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 and 20 thank you inviting follower for inviting followers honey Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 and 20 our generation lacks a sense of wonder and reverence toward God. He, we, we want to bring God down to our level, to the commonplace. He is God. Welcome. Yes, everybody's welcome. He is God. Hello. Yeah, hey. How you doing, Jimmy? I wonder if he's going to pop in out here tonight. <laughs> What? Praise the Lord. T Tony, hello, Tony. Glad you joined. Praise the Lord. Yeah, he, he's he's a dear friend. He work he works out here at the mall. He's one of the, one of the maintenance people. Yeah. I thought you might pop in tonight for a little bit. Oh yeah. I'm glad you did. Hello, Miss Gloria. Hello, hello, Tony. 
I'm doing my scope. You want you want to say hello? He's gonna run. I'm on Periscope. I'm doing my stuff. See, there he goes. He's taking off. All righty then. See how you is. All righty. He's something else, you you girls. He's he's really sweet. I like Jim. He's I always call him Jimmy. Okay, where were where was I at? I'm I'm glad you joined Tony. <laughs> he's something else. I have to laugh. It almost breaks tears in my eyes. I have to laugh because he's he's funny. All right, where was I? I'll start it over. This is about reverence, Tony. I'm so glad you joined. So glad you joined. Thank you for the hearts. Hearts for Jesus, as Vicky would say, hearts for Jesus, always. And like I've said before, too, I'm not on here to glorify me. I'm on here to glorify my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Jackie joined. Well, hey, Jackie. Hey, Sister Jackie. I'm glad that you joined, honey. I've got you and Tony and Yvette. Oh, my heavens. Hi. Hey, I did watch some of your scope last night, I, but I was pretty tired, so I went to bed. I'm reading my devotionals, and this one here is about reverence. You guys can interact, and I'll, I'll go ahead and read this. Read this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for all the, thank you for all the pretty hearts. And again, hearts for Jesus. I haven't seen Vicki on there for a while. I don't I haven't seen her on there. I don't know what's going on with Vicki, but I haven't seen her on there for a while. All right, I'm going to read. Okay, I'm going to start this over. Okay, I'll let you guys interact a little bit. The title to this, this one is Reverence. Therefore, brothers, since we have boldness to enter the sanctuary through the blood of Jesus by a new and living way, he has opened for us through the curtain, that is, his flesh. And that's in reference to Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 and 20. Our generation lacks its sense of wonder and reverence toward God. We want to bring God down to our level, to the commonplace. He is God. Though we have direct access to Him as His children, we ought not to forget that this access was purchased with the precious blood of His Holy Son. Yes, yes, the precious blood of His Holy Son, His only Son. No one who truly understands this ever enters God's presence without a sense of holy awe. Yes, I know all about that. The Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit, it, it's something when the Holy Spirit is the present. And Banana joined. Well, hello, honey. I'm glad you joined. God bless you, sweetie. Glad you joined. Okay. <clears throat> That's going to overflow to you also. Yes, yes. My, 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 my. I don't know how many of the scopes you've seen of mine, Tony. I don't know. But the Holy Spirit's really been really been coming in and literally wrecking me as Michael would say totally wrecking me you know talk about drunk in the spirit my 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 okay no one who truly understands this ever enters in enters God's presence without a sense of holy awe no one who comprehends the incredible price paid at Calvary ever takes his relationship with God for granted glory to God yes glory to God in the highest we will never truly understand God and the way He relates to us unless we first comprehend a true sense of His holiness and His demand for holiness among His people. That's a big amen. Amen on that one. Yes. If we are in God's presence, we are on holy ground. There goes, those, there goes the chills. Wow. We are in, on holy ground. We must never act as if it were God's purpose to make us successful. It would be pro preposterous for us to become impatient when God does not answer our prayers. When, when and how we think He should. When and how we think He should. He is God, we are not. He is God, we are not. Hello. <clears throat> As you meditate on the price Jesus paid to give you access to the Father, you will come to treasure your prayer times with Him. Worship will become a privilege you seize with gratitude. Yes, yes. I can't wait to get alone with the Lord. It's it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. And you know, the devil will try to step in too. With as I call it the three Ds. Disrespect, distractions, and, disrupt, and, and disruptions. Every time, almost every time. And I have to just say whoa you know whoa I have to have my time alone with my Lord get into his presence
get into his presence. Okay. Let's see if we come to see with gratitude. Scripture will be dear to you as you strive to be holy in all that you do. And that's 2 Corinthians 7, 1. 1 Peter 1, verse 15. Wish I'd have brought my Bible out of here. Okay, if you have lost your wonder at the incredible gift of salvation that has been given to you, you need to revisit the cross and witness your Savior suffering for you. My, how pr priceless God's gift of salvation is. That's very, very true. Amen. This was a good one. This one was a good one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My, 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 my. It just, it's just unbelievable. And like I said, sometimes he doesn't answer our prayers. Hallelujah, Tony says. Sometimes unanswered prayers are the best in, in some situations. Amen, Yvette says. And, uh, but it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to explain. Some of you know what I mean. Some of you don't. Yes, true, true. And... But um, <laughs> I've done a lot of videos, his rejection, our protection. Yes, yes, amen, Jackie. Yes, his, his rejection, our protection. Yes. And what is that? Hello, pretty good, how are you doing? But he has our best interest at heart. He doesn't want to see us hurt. He doesn't want to see us hurt. Amen, amen. And we, we have to we lean not to our own understanding. And I have to tell myself this all the time. Lean not to thine own understanding. And he will take us through. He has always taken me through. Always taken me through. And we need not worry. We need not to worry. And our flesh, flesh, we worry. If we get out of the flesh and out of the spiritual and into into the, the carnal way of thinking, because that's what the devil wants. That's what the devil wants. That's what he wants. Because he knows he has a, he is a good father. Yes, Tony, he is. The devil seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. And I've had to rebuke him a lot. Jack, truth, yes. I've had to rebuke him a lot. And I will continue to rebuke him. And I've said this before, I would not deny my Lord for nobody, for nobody. And it's going to come down, and it already has. Many people have lost their lives because for Jesus. Many people have lost their lives, and many will, many will. When we proclaim his name, we will be persecuted, we will be laughed at, scoffed and mocked. Yes, God has come that we might have life abundantly. Yes, Tony. Yes, Tony. Go after the Spirit. The Spirit means life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. He's such an awesome God. Hello. Hi. He's such an awesome God. And He's there for us. He's there for us. He's there for us people. And... Oh my heavens, I'm so glad everybody joined and it's about time for my for my supper, I call it dinner. Some people call it dinner. I'm wearing my purple hat. I've got a red one too. God is love twenty seven join. Well hello, God bless you. Welcome to my scope. I'm Pastor Gloria. I'm Pastor Gloria. I had other things I wanted to, to talk about and now everything is kinda of just running together. I should I should take notes. I should really should should take notes like Yvette did yesterday when she wrote down that just show up. Unless, hello, yes, I know you. Oh, really? What, what is your What is your name? Gloria, yay. Who is this? Your picture looks familiar. Sarah. Sarah Smiley. Oh, Sarah Smiley. Okay, hello, Sarah. Hi, honey. God bless you. I'm glad that you joined. I'm glad you joined. My, I've had a lot of, a lot of people come on here today that I, I'm friends on Facebook. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, bless your heart. I have some of the best in here. Jackie, 
Yvette, Tony. Yes, yes. And, but you know what, people? I miss Nampa. Our well of wisdom and knowledge, Jackie, right? Our well of wisdom and knowledge. Don. Yeah, we miss, we miss Don. And I don't see Sister Vicky on here very much anymore. I don't see her on here very much. Yes, huh? And Sister Titus. I don't know if anybody, any of you follow Sister Titus or not. Brenda McFall, McFall, McFall. I haven't seen her on here for quite a while, and I, I dearly love that woman. She is so sweet. I dearly love her, you know. And But anyway, well, I read my devotions and got to be in contact with some of you. Praise the Lord. And um, so I guess I'm going to get ready and have, have my supper. It's about 25 minutes till 6 my time. And I will be back on later with another scope from home. And uh, Jorcy and Micah will be coming up to get Jordan. How are you doing tonight? That's good. Pretty good. But they'll be coming up to get Jordan um, probably Tuesday or Wednesday, I imagine. He's, he's up for, for a few days with Grandma. And that's always a pleasure. Will you scope later? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I will be getting on, try to be getting on a little earlier, too, because I want to get into the Word and um, take up the, the subject that I talked about on last night about the Jezebel spirit. The Jezebel, you answered. What, uh, Yvette? About the Jezebel spirit. I was touching a little bit on that subject. Yvette, you're good with scriptures. I haven't done scope in a little while. Well, you need to push that broadcast button. I'm out here at the mall. B push that broadcast. I'll try to catch you later. Okay, Tony. Okay. Yeah, but I'm going to get back into the Jezebel spirit. Yes, there's many types of Jezebel, of the Jezebel spirit. Oh, Hello, Jane. Jane. Pretty okay, good. How, you know? how are you? So, show up. Yes. Yeah. Gloria, check out my scopes. I will. God is love 27. Boy, hang on a minute. Hang on just a second here. Oh, I thought, okay. I'm following you now. Oh, I need to tell you something, Sarah. My other account is still on here. Morning Glory for DA. But I wanted Morning Glory for Jesus, and the only way I could do it was have a separate account on here. So I've got two different ones on here. Not my fault, but that's just the way it is. So I have two, Morning Glory for DA and one Morning Glory for Jesus. So I, I, they would not let me change the DA. So I don't know. It's, on one of my devices, it says D, DA, and the other, it says Jesus. So Sarah, will, will you scope tonight? Yes, Sarah, that would be great. Get on there and scope, honey. Get on there and do a scope. Hey, thanks for telling me. Okay, honey. God bless you, sweetie, and I'm so glad you joined. I'm, I'm glad. Thank you. The rest of you that joined, Tony and Yvette and Jackie, I love you all very, very much. I love you all. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, but let's do the Lord's Prayer first. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen, amen. So God be with you all. And again, I love you all. I love you all very much. Yes, yes. And so until later on, until later on. I will see you t later on, later on tonight. So, alrighty. Okay, I love you all. Okay, bye bye for now. Remember, thumbs up, eyes to the sky, for we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. We must be ready. Put on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, and the helmet of salvation. Amen. Amen. So I'll see you guys tonight. Okay. And what I want to tell, hang on, Yvette. Can you look me up some scriptures on the Jezebel spirit? You're you're excellent with that, and I need the scriptures for the Jezebel spirit. Okay? Alrighty. Okay, I love you guys. Okay, see you later. You got Facebook. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Yeah, that's what I wondered. I don't know. I don't think Yvette... I, she does. You have Facebook? Okay, well, you can... Wow. We'll have to look. We'll have to look her up. What you? What are you under? I'll take a drink of my coffee real quick.
didn't know. I didn't know Yvette had, had, I didn't know she was on Facebook. Thank you for all the hearts. Hearts for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. Praise his holy, holy name. Praise his holy name. I am a, I am a bird, Yvette Donahue. Oh, I'm a bird. Oh, okay, I'm a, I'll have to remember that. I am a bird. Okay. Hummingbird, maybe? <laughs> I love hummingbirds. <laughs> They're my favorite. I love hummingbirds. They're so sweet. I'd love, I'd let them fly around the house. I love hummingbirds. I would check. I couldn't find you. All righty. Well, is everybody, well, I guess there's just two left, so. All righty, Gloria, Sister Gloria is going to go for now, and I'll see you later on tonight, okay? God bless you. All righty. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.